Hi there and welcome to this quick walkthrough of the Open EXO platform. And so if you're new here, uh, you can uh, uh, sign up and you can log in. Um, if you've been around for a while, you'll see that there are some changes to the Open EXO platform. You can see there, you can also log in with your social and that'll bring you to our dashboard. And here you'll see a number of things that you can start with, like a updating your profile, reading the book, becoming a creator, leveraging the EXO database, looking at the Open EXO community calendar, finding our tools and resources, managing your profile through EXO Pass, and joining our Discord where you can have communications and discussions with the community in more detail. So let's start off by just looking at, you know, filling out a profile. You know, it's really important that you have an up-to-date profile so that people can find you. You'll notice that you will head over to EXO Pass when updating your profile. And that is because our profile lives on our Web3 EXO Pass, your passport to everything EXO, which is so exciting. And you'll see that there's so many elements that you can update, you can change, you can move your profile to look different, add different sections. And so I highly recommend that that's your starting block, that you have a profile that stands out so that people can see who you are and know who you are because that profile is available to everybody who joins the community and who comes and searches the community. And if it's not updated, you won't be found. I also wanted to just remind people about the settings uh, you can connect your social accounts so you can log in with Google or LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter. And then you can also see that there are connected apps like our OpenEXO Home, our Learning Hub, and our Marketplace. And ultimately, the way we are building OpenEXO uh, and using the EXO Pass is through multiple apps. And in the future, we hope to see some community-driven apps on that app store. And so ultimately... You can also see there's community guidelines, there's events, etc., that you can see by clicking on your profile. But let's just jump over to the community. This is really important. We have an entire video on how you can search within the OpenEXO community. So I won't go into detail about that, but you can see uh, the community, which is so important. Uh, the OpenEXO community is a really important part of what we are trying to do. Feeds is really ex interesting and exciting. It's where you can find news that is that is curated specifically for you. And so head over to feeds, you know, look at the different technologies, the different options that you can click on. Let's say you're interested in energy. Well, you can get all your exponential energy uh, news right here on the OpenEXO platform. You will see that the Learning Hub, this is brand new, and we're really excited about this. We are building this out more and more. It's where you can currently complete the foundations and our online marketing course together with DigiNauts, as well as a host of other, other content for you to see and use, which is really awesome. And this will be dated and upgraded over time as we get there as a community. You can also click on the resources tab. This is where you will find a number of different resources and tools and media that are available. This is in an interim state at the moment, but please do use it and see what you can find. The dashboard, of course, is where the most important things are living. Uh, one thing I wanted to share is our community calendar. So as you are part of the community, you can join our in-person events that are happening each week, depending on what tier you are in. This calendar is in Central European time. And so in the top left corner, you will see some times uh, that correlate uh, to the times in the calendar. We are hopefully going to update this calendar soon to be more interactive uh, and uh, to your time zone, but you'll see the different tiers and what you can join. And we highly recommend that because that is an amazing way 
to leverage EXO even more uh, together with people within the community. And then always a reminder, the Exponential Organizations book is available to read online if you have a basic pass and you can read it right here. But not only can you read the book, you can also query the book. So you can read each of the chapters here. But the most important part is that you can query it through Ray K. But not only that, you can actually leverage Ray K to answer any question you have with an EXO lens. So I hope this has been helpful and we look forward to seeing you in the community.